Hello, and welcome back to the Interpac Academy. I'm Teresa Hippis with the Interpac Commercial Marketing Team. Welcome to our second video in this series covering sizing the correct hand pump or air pump. There are many industrial pump types available to you as you set up your system. Deciding when to use a hand pump or an air pump model can be challenging. In this second video, we will look at how to select the correct hand pump or air pump for your application. Let's start with when to select hand operated pumps. For intermittent applications or operations that may be performed in hazardous environments, hand pumps can offer a very cost effective solution. Hand pumps have been available for many years, but new technology has made them lighter, easier to use, and more dependable. Hand pumps are typically used for smaller tools and cylinders, 25 ton or 232 kilonewton in smaller capacities. There are also models big enough to power large cylinders as well, sometimes over 100 ton or 933 kilonewton capacities. Hand pumps are generally used for single acting cylinders and tools, but certain models are available to operate double acting tools as well. Remember, if your application requires more than a few cycles at a time, it may be strenuous for the operator and a power pump may be a better choice. Always select a pump with a reservoir that holds enough oil capacity to handle the largest tool to be operated. Hand pump flow is typically rated in cubic inches or cubic centimeters per handle stroke. The higher the volume of oil per handle stroke, the more the tool or cylinder will travel. Remember that the higher the flow rate per stroke, the higher the workload for the operator of the pump. Even with the power being supplied by the operator, hand pumps still prove a good choice for intermittent maintenance applications and offer a high level of control. A unique capability with a hand pump is the ability to slow down the tool by slowing the movement of the handle for precise applications. Lastly, most hand pumps are two-speed models. This offers rapid tool travel under no load operation, reducing the workload for the operator. Single-speed models are available for operators requiring constant tool travel regardless of load as in testing applications. Air-powered hydraulic pumps also offer a good solution for environments that may be too hazardous for electric powered pumps. Many torque wrench applications require the use of air powered pumps for this reason. Air pumps run on standard shop air and can provide hydraulic power to small and large tools and cylinders when sufficient air service is available. Small reciprocating air pumps are very cost effective solutions for many light manufacturing operations like pressing, punching, and broaching. They are used almost exclusively for collision repair applications due to abundant supplies of shop air in these facilities. Large rotary air powered pumps provide higher power but require large amounts of air and can be quite loud during operation. Again, reservoir capacity is a first requirement to size the proper air pumps to the job. For most of the smaller applications discussed for reciprocating air powered pumps, oil temperature is usually not an issue. For demanding torque wrench bolting applications, heat can build up in the oil. Many bolting pumps offer a heat exchanger to keep the oil cooler during continuous use and when high ambient temperatures are a concern. Lastly, as the load on an air-powered hydraulic pump increases, its speed may drop due to air compressibility. I hope you found this video on selecting the proper pump useful. In the final episode, we will cover some common pump guidelines when specifying a cordless or AC powered pump. For further information, please visit us at interpac.com or reach out to your nearest Interpac contact for further assistance. I'm Teresa Hippis, and for the Interpac Academy, thank you for watching.